Welcome to Bioshock. So this is a game that's been in my uh, backlog for many years. It was going to be one of my original uh, recording titles in like the first six months or so, but I shoveled it because of all the copyright issues. So I, when I replayed them, I didn't record, even though I was in the recording era. So I just played them without recording. Now I feel like getting around to doing them again and recording, so... What I'm gonna have to do because of YouTube's copyright bullshit is basically just not have the music playing, so... And the game is actually pretty fine without it. I like all the... the game is full of vintage music from like 40s and 50s, because it takes place in 1960. But all that music will get you claimed left, right, and center on YouTube, so... We're going to have that turned off. Now, this is the first version of Bioshock on um, Steam. It has issues. It's not a good PC port by any means. But the remastered version, which they released uh, some years back, is actually more broken than the fucking original. You can't play that for more than an hour or two before it crashes and loses all your work back to the last save. I mean, yeah. I tried at remake a couple of times now coming back to see if they would patch it or do something with it. It's like, no, they just they shovelwared it. It's garbage. But anyway, uh, there's almost no settings here but once we get into the game, you'll have more. So we got 1080p high. It actually has a built-in uh, V-Sync. But anyway, uh, most of the settings will not unlock until you're actually in the game. So let's just get going and then I'll look at it afterwards. And uh, this slider here doesn't seem to work at all on either version of the game. I've thoroughly tested the brightness slider. I have never noticed it making any kind of difference at all, so I don't know why they left this in here. Let's leave it a slider that doesn't do anything, okay? And we're going with medium, normal difficulty. It's broke shock. It's sad that such a fantastic game has to be marred by a, a ship port. 1960, Mid-Atlantic. They told me, Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Now there's a name on that note that said Jack. I don't think anyone ever says his character name in the game. But he's actually Jack. This is such a fantastic game. Now, Bioshock 1 and 2 are like 10 out of 10 game of the year material. It's just a damn shame we had to get trash ports over on PC. But I actually had this on the uh, 360, though. Uh, this was one of my Xbox 360 titles where I first played it. I'm not sure if I had the second title on 360. I think I had one and two. And then I got later, when Infinite came out, I just got that one on computer. Because I eventually dumped my 360. Which I kind of regret. Some of those games are exclusive, but oh well. So we'll head back into our settings here. See, now we have a lot more. Now, I've got this configured pretty well. Uh, yeah, no music because of copyright. Here's our... Where's the other uh, graphic settings? Wasn't there a V-Sync? Oh yeah, unlock frame rate. Okay, if you have this off, then... It will, it will V-Sync you. Yeah. Now, the remastered version of this game does look a little bit nicer. But, why would you want a broken-ass game in exchange for nicer graphics? I would rather have one that works. If 
you played this back then on your 360 or PS3, you were like, damn. Door closes behind us. No gods or kings, only man. In what country is there a place for people like me? Andrew Ryan. Science. Industry. Art. Okay. Time to head down. But I've played through Bioshock 1 and 2 numerous times. This is like the exact opposite of a blind LP or, or a new game. And I just recently played through this again. I beat it over a course of a couple of days. at your fingertips and scenery. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. A city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, Rapture can become your city as well. Sadly, the gamers cannot get away from the copyright claims on YouTube. Not even Rapture can get you out of that. And that's why we have no music. Mind over matter, telekinesis. Okay. to reason with a splicer wasting your time he should have known better he was living down here now she tries to break in here Given up. Would you kindly pick up 
That was called a splicer. The city is full of them. The fucked up inhabitants of this city. We're gonna need to draw her out of hiding, but you're gonna have to trust me. She's a particularly nasty one too. You don't fight those until a good uh, way into the game, because they are much more dangerous than the ones you start with. Rapture is dirt. We're not your property. Ryan doesn't own us. Let it in. Let us sound. Attention, all pathless patrols now denied. Cameras, if they detect you, will summon in flying robots to take you out. But this one is on our side, because Atlas has got it hacked. Our good old trusty ranch. weapon in this game. I can control myself. Although I prefer I a shotgun for my melee weapon. <laughs> Thuggish splicer. This is your generic shit enemy. Usually have a pipe. expect most people in this city to be friendly because it has gone all to hell. Everyone is fucked up. Everyone's going to try and kill you on sight. And they're usually spouting like nonsense because they are, they are just gone mentally. One man's vision. Mankind's salvation. November 5th, 1946. I guess that's when it was started. Right after World War II which would have been when the economy went into its second Great Depression, which was far worse than the first one in the 30s. But is less talked about for some reason. But the Depression after World War II was a hell of a lot worse than the one before it. It took much longer to get over as well. So this guy knows nothing about this city. He just, he just came down here, right? He's looking around. He's like, what the fuck is this place? The great chain of industry ties and unites us. Great chain is a complicated concept. Uh, we'll worry about that later. Pick your plasmid and evolve. The wondrous world of rapture. <laughs> that is bad. You'll find out soon why this city went to hell.
But yeah, we come across this just just syringe sitting over here. It's like, yeah, okay, I'll shoot up with that. What could possibly go wrong with that? Drugs. Drugs are fun. Not worried about STDs or anything. Let's just shoot up with that. Yeah, you've got electric electricity coming out of your fucking hands, but hold on, you'll be fine. It's fine. This little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some matter. Popping my cherry right now. Strawberry daiquiri sea grams. Beat the shit out of that big daddy. Those things are gonna be my bitch soon. Look, Mr. Bubbles, it's an angel. I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute, he's still breathing. It's all right. I know he'll be an angel soon. She's not interested in us because she harvests corpses. We're still alive. You all right, boy? First time plasma's a real kick from you. But there's nothing like a fistful of lightning now, is there? Well, I... I incinerate. Insect swarm are actually nicer powers than this, but anyway. This is one you will always want to have. Even if you don't bother to upgrade it, at least keep the level one handy because you can open doors. Some of the powers you want to always have on you. You want to have ice, fire, and telekinesis. Even if you don't want to pay to upgrade them, you don't care about them, at least have the level one because you, you need those for the environment. Telekinesis, you don't need as much, but there's a lot of pickups you won't be able to reach later on. Yeah, the city's falling apart as well. So now we can hurl lightning, basically. It mainly stuns enemies. It's not too big on damage. But if enemies are in the water, then you can zap the shit out of them. Stunned enemies are more vulnerable to a melee attack, so stunning goes well if you want to melee. <coughs> melee is an option in the game. There's a bunch of uh, perks to support it. <laughs> Who is that? I know you're here. Don't so you stack a bunch of uh, melee hey, upgrades, that range will be deadly. Get your ass out of here. I don't even have a gun, FYI. Mana potion. When you run out of mana, he'll automatically shoot up. He will not do that with the health pot, though. So if you don't tell him to use the health potion, you'll just die. Tell, tell Ryan I'm sorry. I won't do it again. No, please, please, don't do that. The whole Scrimmage thing will go. Cake. No! That's a cigarette ad. Yeah. Report me. 
ascendancy. Fuck. Liberty. Don't run! He's already on fire. Four out. Creativity. Independence. Commerce. Copyright claims. Need to patch the game and add that. Elevator repair. The, spli the splicers are great enemies, though, because they are just constantly spouting madness everywhere. <laughs> Listening to them is so much fun. It's not like just zombies or mobs. I've got a family. I need to get them out of here. But the splicers have cut me off from them. If you can reach them in Neptune's bounty, then maybe, just maybe. I know you must feel like the unluckiest man in the world right now. But you're the only hope I'll ever see my wife and child again. Doing better than the splicers. Go to Neptune's bounty. Find my family, please. So it's not like a typical game where you're walking around and the mobs are just quiet and boring. Here, they're out of their minds. Listen to this. Mommy's gone. And daddy too. Wait. This is happening before and none. Why aren't you here? Why is it today and not then when you were warm and sweet? Why can't mommy hold you to her breast and feel your teeth? Oh, no. No, 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 no. You okay, lady? She's got a mask on. Most of them are wearing masks. Baby and me! Baby and oh. me! Oh. They try and hide their fucked up skin. Rosmans changed everything. They destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Best friends butchering one another. Babies strangled in cribs. The whole city went to hell. And this is why narcotics are illegal. And you don't just sell them in vending machines over the counter. By the way, there was no baby in there, there was a gun. Cocktail lounge. But we might not want to use this for a while because we don't have any bullets. Masquerade Ball 1959. Are you running to the test? I'll do what I want. It's my Adam. I earned it. You want this ugly? Or do you want this nice? I can do it either way. Open the damn door! <laughs> but they're, they're Last crazy. Time, I warned you. We'll get to him in a minute. Brenda! Too spliced up. I'm too spliced up. Now nobody's gonna want me. Stop splicing. You open up. Next time. You care to tell me why you had a hole in the wall the size of Plymouth Rock coming out of your crapper going on three weeks now? I didn't mean to now hurt I'm anyone. I'm saying I'm Shakespeare. I'm trying to run a respectable <laughs> I got word and phone coming in from Port Neptune trying to catch a little diversion. And all I can think about is the stink coming out of your shitter. Get it fixed. Alright, we need to go that way. We'll head down there. First. Last time, I warned you. Brenda! Give me my Adam! This is our hut! Me! Where are you going? Come on, back here, scrub! He's running away.
away from me. Did you get a sense that these were you once real people? Ah! 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 What are you doing? Charlie! Charlie, where are you going? No, Charlie! This isn't right! She was a lead head, they're the ones with guns. And where'd it go? Here it is. Need the bullets. Got another corpse in here. Body go. No. Another New Year's, another night alone. I'm out and you're stuck in Festus working. Huh. Imagine. Another drink. <laughs> Here's a toast to Diane McClintock. Silliest girl in Rapture. Silly enough to fall in love with Andrew Ryan. Silly enough. Okay, let's move on. Where? You missed us! One of Ryan's girlfriends. You have to wonder if she knew about the other one. I don't remember what happened to this one all. The, uh, the other one suffered a very horrible... Eventually, find out about. Careful now. Would you kindly lower that weapon for a minute? I'm gonna need. I'll just beat the shit out of the big daddy. Not a you problem. Think that's a child down there. Don't be fooled. She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface, well, that don't count for much down in Rapture. I've noticed. Those little sisters, they carry Adam. The genetic material that keeps the wheels of Rapture turning. Everybody wants us, everybody needs us. Let's see what happens when you try and take one of the girls. You done fucked up. That's what's gonna happen to you a few times in this game, because you're gonna have to fight those things.
are going tappy chappy. Is he the surgeon? No, no, Steinman's the surgeon. This is the the theater guy. Theater director job thing. Come bite the apple, you scarlet. If you don't want to show anything, you may as well put a bra on her. Fontaine Futuristics, Akuvox, personal voice recorder. Recording the thoughts and lives of Rapture citizens for five years and counting. Fontaine Futuristics for the city of the future. I'll play all the audio logs that I find, but I might not find all of them, so... I didn't touch her! Come back! I didn't mean anything by it! Out of mana. I have to shoot up twice? Didn't give me credit for the first one. It's like when you're reloading in a game and he's mostly finished, but you interrupt it and you switch back and he has to, he dumps the clip. He dumps out the clip that he just put into the gun and reloads it again. Because you interrupted the, the, uh, the reload. Okay, 54 bucks. Today's bulletin, good morning rapture. Stay up to date. Back up. You call that gratitude? I found Are you afraid of me, monster? Come back! Come back! med kit so I can pick that one up. Alice was supposed to say something here. Oh well. Oh, there it is. Stop, start, stop. It just works out better with this game. One of the bitches said to you, the KGB wolf with a CIA jackal. Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plunder. And Anna Ryan isn't a giddy socialite to be slapped around by government muscle. And with that, farewell. Or thus the bomb, the chair. I'll beat us then. We've got to have a step. Who you? Scream! God! Come on, come on, get on in here. I'll help you. I don't know 
what you're worried about. They can't get in here. All right, let's move on. No point standing around here. Diamond's cosmetic enhancement. With Adam, there's no reason not to be beautiful. Adam is words we're going to hear a lot. Adam is used to do damn near everything in this city now. Hey, Mary, going to the big game tonight? I heard Ryan's Raiders are playing. No way, it's not safe. Haven't you heard? Atlas's bandits are everywhere. Hold on a second then. Remember what Andrew Ryan says. If you do that, the bandits win. Take your family to Fort Frolic and Arcadia. Go out and shop. It's the rapture way of life. Forget about the bandits that are trying to kill you. Just go and shop. It's fine. I'm not gonna use that yet. Too introverted for anyone to know this. basically have to hack this to continue, but you would want to hack a bot anyway, because that's a good thing. Yeah, we know all about that. Okay. This is pretty self-explanatory. so fast it hasn't even started moving yet but yeah it'll get faster and harder and they're also starting to be uh, fake tile there's gonna be uh, bomb ones that will explode if you pass this into them there will be others that set off alarms and there's one that either speed up the flow or slow it down but right now they're very basic Now we got a robo bike. You will be making Keep away from my face. Find your blasted manners. We can shoot. They are killing each other. Not all of the splicers are friends, otherwise the city would not have been fucked up in the first place. <laughs> Went to hell because they were all killing each other. A noise. Nurse, help me find this patient. Nurse, you keep away from my patient. <laughs> Fucking machine. change your name and you'll magically your DNA will just magically change to the opposite gender right 
Elliot Page. I flipped a switch. I'm a dude now. Uh, but in um, in Rapture, you could do that. There's probably gender bender tonics, or um. A vagina plasmid. But anyway. Security alert is in progress. This place, probably close enough. gain health from eating uh, all the junk food around the city and alcohol. Drinking booze actually restores your health. It sucks off some of your mana every time you pick one up, but you gain health at the cost of eating, which is mana. Cigarettes actually do the opposite. If you smoke, you gain mana at the cost of health. It's like I tell people, in real life, if you're gonna smoke, you may as well drink too. If you're gonna smoke the poison, you may as well drink the cure. And they're like, what sense does that make? Well, smoking contains methanol, a very bad poison. Drinking contain or alcohol contains ethanol, which is the cure for methanol. So you're smoking the poison, you may as well drink the cure. If you're already smoking, it's better for your health if you drink too, as opposed to just smoking on its own. Why? Just now! One more. Of course, you're better off just not smoking at all, but I said if you are already smoking, I didn't say you should smoke. But in this game, they literally cancel each other out. You pick up the first one, you gain health and lose E. When you smoke on the second one, you gain E and lose health. Get a robo buddy. What's the matter, Mary? You look like you could use a boost. I don't feel so great. I'm dizzy, I'm nauseous, and sometimes I'm even seeing. 
seeing things that aren't there. That's just the plasmid blues, Mary. <laughs> you just need to slow down a bit on the splicing. Before you know it, you'll be as right as rain. Remember, a smart splicer is a happy splicer. picnic lunch and we'll make a day of it. Those over, uh, voices are hilarious. It's like, that's just the plasmid blues, Mary. You need to slow down on the splicing. You'll be right as rain. That's like someone saying that they've been taking caffeine and they don't feel very well. Like, oh, you just got the caffeine blues. Just slow down on the snorting and you'll be fine. We can see you, you know. Oh, yes, run, you coward, darling. Because you met. This is why guns cocaine are not in vending machines and why government regulation is a thing people are like government bad well they're also the ones that are keeping guns out of the vending machines running on empty fill up with Eve the best for our discerning customers. I don't remember what discerning means. I haven't opened the map yet at all, huh? It's like a health station, but apparently it's broke. Put it this way, that doctor would have fit in just fine at Auschwitz or Treblinka or one of the uh, any of the Nazi death camps. He would have fit in just fine. You know, maybe his real name is Josef Mengele, for all we know. You know, uh, the, the doctor deaths from Auschwitz Birkenau, he was never prosecuted after the war. This was the guy that was conducting, like, horrific human experiments and, uh, killing children never convicted after the war he lived out the rest of his life and aged to death you keep an eye peeled for Steinman but our bastard set up shop in the surgery wing you want to find him just follow the blood but I don't think that Steinman uh, was a Nazi I, I don't know that there's no references to that. He just has a. He doesn't even sound German. He just has a German name. There's actually a different lady who said she was at one of the death camps, but she's a, a sympathetic character. She's not one of the villains. Higher standards. Adam presents new problems for the profession. As your so to your standards, there was a time I was happy enough to take off a wart or two or turn a real circus freak into something you can show in the daylight, but that was then when we took what we got, but with Adam, the flesh becomes clay. What excuse do we have not to sculpt and sculpt and sculpt until the job is done? As long as you have patient consent. Diamonds, we care for you. So you have what was once a brilliant doctor who basically went out of his mind. Yeah, we would like to hack that. Remember, all their machines will short out right and proper if you hit them with electrobolts. I just did that. Thanks, Atlas.
Apparently I fucked that up somehow. Although I'm pretty sure it had a damn straight line to the exit, so I don't know where it went wrong. Sometimes I fuck these up. It's not that big of a deal, it just means I have to do it again. There. Does that not connect? Thank you. Don't you disrespect me! Fucked up now. Something in there, but we can't get it yet. We don't have the telekinesis module. Or, I mean, plasmid. Operate on your own face. That's impressive. On the surface, the parasite expects the doctor to heal them for free, the farmer to feed them out of charity. How little they differ from the pervert who prowls the streets looking for a victim he can ravish for his grotesque amusement. So you listen to that and you're like, what the hell does that even mean? Well, he's talking about capitalism and socialism. Uh, if you know your economics, Andrew Ryan is a capitalist. Like, 100% capitalist. To the bone. More than anyone else. More than a society could ever possibly be. As proven by the city. He's like the champ of capitalists. He hates socialism. He uses words like parasite to describe socialism. See, when I first played this back then, I didn't know all of that crap. know all the stuff that I do today, which practically none of I actually learned from school, ironically. I've learned more from self-education in my life than I ever did in any school or college. Special ammo. We don't need that right now. example is like your health insurance. When you pay for private health insurance, 
capitalism. When it's just being given to you, like free health insurance. Socialism. Socialism is the government taking something from one person and giving it to someone else. People are like, it's free, it's free, that's great. It's like, no, that's not. They ripped it off the back of someone else. Yes, I'm a capitalist. Every educated person is a fucking capitalist. But not as, not as much as Andrew Bryan. Because I don't want guns and cocaine and vending machines. That's what you need a government for. We can hack these vending machines, but I don't think I'm gonna bother at the moment. It has been brought to my attention that some citizens have discovered ways to hack the vending machines should not need to remind each and every citizen of Rapture that free enterprise is the foundation upon which our society has been established. Parasites will be punished. Yes, capitalism is paying for your goods. Socialism is stealing it. Although it's okay when the government does it. If I steal someone's wallet, they call it theft. But if the government rips money out of my check, calls it a tax, then it's not theft. You didn't have a choice. Either way, it was taken from you. Door's locked. Free plasma is a dandy dental. We're just handing them out now, I guess. These these drugs should not be on the market. Choose from Slim Down and Telekinesis. Offer good while supplies last. Slim Down is not actually a tonic in the game, I don't think. She this one's a plasmid. Well. Plasmids are powers, tonics are passives. So those don't have to be activated, they just augment your stats. Hey Bella, don't you want to take a walk with me? I can't serve you! But there's a lot of uh, economic and anti-government rambling in this game, and, and yet they don't actually use any of the words for it. You'll, you'll never hear anyone say the word dictatorship or totalitarianism. Did I say that right? That is a hard one for me to say. It's totalitarianism. Those are political terms, not economic terms. Got another one. No. I was at German prison camp, only at 16 years old when I realized I have love for science. German doctor, he make experiment. Sometimes he makes scientific error. I tell him of this error, and this make him angry. But then he asks, how can a child know such a thing? I tell him sometimes I just know. Why tell me? Well, I said, if you are going to do such things, at least you should do them properly. I would like to know why a German child would be at one of the Nazi death camps. She wasn't a prisoner. Those are usually not German.
She was banging on the door over there. She just got <laughs> fucked up. Anyway, we're gonna call it here. Just forget about all of those. I look for an option to delete, and I don't see one, so we'll just start a new wave, I guess. As long as there's not a limit. So yeah, here's our, our new ones. We will pick this up in the next one.